Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial, we explain how to correctly install and run Arduino Integrated Development Environment or IDE on Raspberry Pi 5 or 4 in Linux Ubuntu. Here is the main motivation for creating this video tutorial. In a typical robotic system, Raspberry Pi 4 or 5 are used as high-level controllers running computer vision, machine learning and model-based control algorithms. The high-level controller needs to communicate with a low-level controller that is used to control motors and receive measurements from encoders and similar sensors. Usually, low-level controllers are Arduino, ESP32, STM32 and TNC microcontrollers. Controllers. Arduino and ESP32 microcontrollers can be programmed by using Arduino IDE. Consequently, it is of paramount importance to learn how to install Arduino IDE on Raspberry Pi. In the next video tutorial, we explain how to create a software interface between Raspberry Pi and Arduino. Since this channel is watched by complete beginners as well as more advanced students and engineers, we need to explain several important things such that we are on the same page and consequently do not skip the important notes that I will explain in the sequel. First of all, in this tutorial we are running Linux Ubuntu 24.04 on the Raspberry Pi 5. However, everything explained in this tutorial applies to any other Linux Ubuntu version. Note that we do not suggest to people interested to use Raspberry Pi 4 or 5 for robotics, computer vision and machine learning applications to install the official Raspberry Pi operating system. Instead, install Linux Ubuntu. We created a separate video tutorial on how to install Linux Ubuntu on Raspberry Pi 4 or 5. Links are provided in the description below this video. Next, Raspberry Pi 4 and 5 are based on the ARM64 processor architecture and not on the X8664 processor architecture. You should keep in mind this when downloading the Arduino installation file since you need to download the installation file for ARM64. To verify that Raspberry Pi is actually running on ARM64 architecture, let's open a terminal and let's verify that. So I will click here to open a terminal and in the terminal you simply need to type this. You name and then you need to give this option M and you will get Arch64. This means that Raspberry Pi is actually running on ARM64 architecture. As of October 2024, we have two versions of Arduino IDE, Arduino IDE 2.0 and Arduino IDE 1.0, which is also known as Legacy IDE. As of October 2024, Arduino did not release an installation version of Arduino IDE 2.0 for ARM64 architectures. Consequently, we need to use the Arduino 1.0 IDE which can be installed on ARM64 architecture. That is, in this video tutorial we explain how to install Arduino version 1.8.9 which is most recent version of Arduino 1.0 IDE on Raspberry Pi 5. If in the future Arduino company releases a version of Arduino IDE 2.0 for ARM64 architectures, we will create a video tutorial on how to install it on Raspberry Pi 4 or 5. Here is one final note. Note that the standard Raspberry Pi 5 power adapter or power supply provides 5 volts and 5 amps. Since we will attach Arduino through a USB port of our Raspberry Pi 5, Arduino will consume current. If you attach a device, actuator or a sensor to Arduino and you use Arduino internal 5 volt to provide the power to the device, you will increase the current consumption of your Raspberry Pi 5. If the current consumption is too high, you might burn your Raspberry Pi 5. Always keep in mind this. In practical scenarios, you might consider to attach a separate power supply to your Arduino. 
OK, let's start with installation instructions. The first step is to go to the official Arduino web page and to go to the software subsection. That is, you need to go to this web page. And over here, you have the first option, Arduino IDE 2.3.3. As we explained previously, we cannot install this version of Arduino on our ARM64 architecture and consequently you need to scroll down, 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 down until you find legacy IDE. And over here you need to select the proper version. Since we are running ARM64 architecture and we are running Linux Ubuntu, you need to select this option. So click here. Then I will click just download and over here I will click just download and over here select the download folder. Select the downloads folder in your home directory and click on save. And the download process will start. You can see that the file is only around 90 megabytes. However, this is a compressed file and we need to decompress. Next, let's open a terminal. And over here, I'm going to resize this terminal such that you can see what I'm typing and at the same time, you can follow the manual I prepared. First of all, let's verify that the file is actually in the downloads folder. Consequently, you need to type this. This command will navigate to the downloads folder. Then in the downloads folder, let's type this and we should see this file. This is the compressed file containing the Arduino folder. The next step is to decompress this file. To decompress this file, we need to execute this command. tar is the name of the program for decompressing. Then we need to specify these options that will decompress the file and we need to specify the name of the file. Here I will type Arduino and if you press tab, the name will be auto completed and that's it. And simply press enter. And you will see that the file will unpack and the new folder will be created. Let's see the name of this folder. If you type ls-la, you will see this folder over here. This folder contains the source files. What I like to do is to copy my installation folders to somewhere else. That is, I will completely move this folder from the downloads folder. And I will move it to my home folder and I will call the new folder as Arduino install. To perform these steps, I will execute this command. This command will copy this folder to the home folder and it will rename the folder and the new name is Arduino install. So let's do that. Okay, let's now go to our home folder and let's list all the folders and files. And over here at the top, you will see Arduino install. Perfect. Here is one very important note. If you name this destination folder simply as Arduino, you will see this message once you run Arduino. Namely, you will see the message incorrect ID installation folder. Your copy of the ID is installed in a subfolder of your sketchbook. Please move the ID to another folder. And this error comes from the fact that if the name of this folder Arduino install is Arduino, you will have interference with the folder that, store, that stores sketches. That's why I'm avoiding this and giving this name. Next, we need to install Arduino. To install Arduino, first of all, navigate to the installation folder. And inside of this installation folder, you will see this file install.sh. This is a script file that will, that will install Arduino. To execute this file, you need to type this and that's it. After that, you need to enter the password and Arduino will be installed. You need to wait, wait a while. So let's see the outcome, what will happen over here. Done! And that's it. Arduino is installed on your system. 
However, before you can run Arduino, you need to do several things. First of all, attach your Arduino board to the USB port of your Raspberry Pi. Next, we need to set the proper port permissions such that we can read and write data to the USB Arduino port. First of all, we need to figure out the name of the Arduino USB port. We can do it like this. If Arduino board is attached to your computer, you will see something like this. Device folder and inside you will see this name, TTY ASME 0. 0 is the name of the port, or better to say TTY ASME 0 is the name of the port. However, in your case, you might see, for example, TTY ASM 1, 2, 3, or whatever the name is. Next, we need to set the permission such that we can read and write to this port. And to do that, you simply need to execute this command. Okay. After this step, to make these changes, that is to implement them, you need to reboot the system. To do that, you simply need to execute this command. However, before executing this command, make sure that you saved all the files on your system. After restarting the system, we can start Arduino. However, before starting Arduino, connect your board to Raspberry Pi 5 and then click here and search for Arduino. And you should see this beautiful icon, so simply click here and this should start Arduino. Here it is. Let's be patient and voila, here it is. Next, let's perform a test in order to make sure that we have properly installed Arduino on our system. To do that, we will run two programs. The first program will be a simple Hello World program. And over here, I will simply copy the content of the program and I will paste it here. And here it is. This program will open a serial port and it will print this message, hello world on the serial port, and then we will see this message on our computer screen. So let's do that. But before we do that, we have to make sure that our board and our communication port are properly set up. To do that, click on tools. And first of all, over here, select your board. In my case, the board is Arduino Mega. Here it is. Then you need to verify the port, click here, and select this port. And you can see over here that the port is TTY ACM0, ACM and that's precisely the port that we listed in the terminal. So let's click here. That's it. Let's now upload our sketch. Let's save the sketch, and let's upload it. And here it is. And let's open a serial monitor. Click on tools. And let's find the serial monitor. Here it is. Open a serial monitor and voila! You can see hello world. And I can also click to see the timestamp. Here it is. Beautiful. It works like a charm. Next, let's close the serial port and let's close our sketch and let's close Arduino and let me show you another way for verifying the installation. This time we will start Arduino from a command prompt. Let's learn how to do that. Open a command prompt and over here let's see everything. Where is Arduino executable file? There are two folders over here. So let's go to the Arduino folder and let's list everything and see if we can see any executable file. Well, let's see. I cannot see anything. I can see only libraries and I can see sketch. That is, this folder is used to store the libraries and sketches. sketches. Consequently, the executable file is not here. So let's again do this and let's verify the installation folder. So let's now type here, type this. And let's see. Aha, I can see Arduino executable. So let's type this sudo dot 
and let's better type this sudo dot Arduino and let's try to run this and here it is we are running it from a command prompt and the nice thing about running from command prompt is that you can see the messages fail to load module Canabera JTK module however this is probably a minor warning and it's not important okay next let's run the second verification program click on file click on example click on basics and click on bare minimum or you can click let's better click on blink let's see what this blink is doing this blink program will actually blink one of the internal light emitting diodes on your board and again click on tools make sure that your board is selected make sure that the processor or better to say the port is properly selected then upload and observe your board one of the LEDs on your board should blink if it blinks this means that Arduino is properly installed on your system and Raspberry Pi 4 or 5 is able to communicate with your Arduino. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. And see you in the next video tutorial.